They can be pretty spectacular and fun to watch, but they can also be very dangerous. KX News reporter Adina Balthazar spoke with firefighters for some safety tips if you plan to shoot off some fireworks this holiday weekend. A big tradition for many around the 4th of July is either seeing fireworks or setting them off yourself. Whether you're buying the sparklers or the big fireworks, you still need to make sure you are staying safe. Fire Inspector for the City of Minot, Stuart Hammer, says people need to know how fireworks are supposed to work before lighting them off. Especially the multi-shots. If they tip over, um, they can start spinning. They'll fire a shot and spin, fire a shot, go in multiple directions, point at people. So we want to make sure we have a good standoff distance away from the fireworks, have a place where we can take cover if something should happen. Hammer says around the 4th of July, the fire department see many injuries from people being careless with fireworks. Alcohol tends to be a real contributing factor when it comes to injuries with fireworks. Um, so just use, you know, good common sense. Um, keep children away from the bigger fireworks. I know the kids want to light them, but it's not always safe for them to do that. Um, so we're, we want to use good common sense. Fireworks are not allowed to be blown off within Minot city limits. Plus, Hammer says people need to remember that even with the rain we've gotten recently, we are still in a drought. In Ward County, they are checking the state fire danger map every day to make sure conditions are safe. It's dry. Make sure you know the conditions of where you're at. Make sure you know what the fire index is and whether or not fireworks are allowed. Uh, it will not take much to get a fire going, and it will not take much for a fire to get out of control. Keeping traditions and yourself alive by staying safe this Independence Day weekend. Reporting in Minot for KX News, I'm Adina Balthazar. Hammer also wants to remind people to be aware of who their neighbors are because they could be suffering from PTSD, and that can be triggered by fireworks exploding. In Burley, Morton, Emmons, Dunn, and Stark counties, fireworks have already been banned for personal use. And new this evening, the city of Burlington has been added to that growing list. For the entire breakdown of cities and counties banning personal fireworks, you can visit kxnet.com.